Every time there's layoffs of any type, uh, the media makes much of it. You see it. Uh, we have a problem in that, you know, if we throw a Christmas party, uh, maybe there's maybe there's 25 people at our house. That'd be a pretty good one. Uh, maybe there's five people at our house or 10. Uh, maybe you get carried away and you have 40 people at your house and they're banging on the walls. But the fact of the matter is that big numbers are just hard to fit into our heads. So when a company lays off 10,000 people, people say, whoa, look at that, 10,000 people gone. That's got to impact the economy. The fact is the labor market's very tight. The kinds of people, and the big fear now is technology companies laying off people. The kind of people they lay off are very employable. They tend to come from the geographies that have lots of other firms looking to hire them. And we're not seeing, and I don't think we will see in the short term, maybe in the longer term, but not in the short term, unemployment going up. Because 10,000 people here, 5,000 people there, 15,000 over there, and 2,000 over here is not enough to put a dent into this market because it's so huge. The fact is, this is no more of any great significance than me pulling out my pen, throwing it on the floor, and thinking that that's going to dent the floor somehow. It just won't. So in reality, the easiest way to see this is, do you start to see the labor market loosening in a sense of increased unemployment? And so far, and I think in the short term immediately ahead, there's none of that. Might there be longer term tied to other things? Yes, there might be long term tied to other things, but not tied to that which people have thought about and worried about, which is these technology companies having these layoffs. Thank you very much for listening to me. Subscribe to the Fisher Investment YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Click the bell to be notified as soon as we publish new videos.